as well after what happened to the neometer. Hey, Bob. I wonder what's the matter with this car. The engine stopped running. Plenty of gas. Hey, Bob. Run it down, Drake. Keep it rolling. guy's license number? I sure did. 130,000 volts. That's what wrecked us when I pulled that gadget on the box. Boy, that was a close one. I better see if the box is still there. Man, I'm going after that guy we picked up in Zorka's lab. And this is no time for a manhunt. It's more important we get that mystery box to the federal lab for an analysis. Blow up the whole city? I guess you're right. We'll take it to Dr. Mallory's house. We'll be safer there. The only survivors, the box is still here. I get away. He's one of the spy rings. The police will catch him. He can't get far with that bullet. Then what's going on here? You fellas trying to electrocute yourselves? Who's driving that car? Take it easy. Okay, Captain West. We have to get to Dr. Mallory's right away. Special business. I'll give you a lift. All right, thanks. We'll tell you all about it on the way. Monk. 
The video. Monk is gone. Still have you. You will be the instrument of my vengeance. <laughs> so you decided to come back, did you? The federal men broke in. They carried me off. They stole the meteor. You're lying. I left you on guard and you betrayed me. You have sold the source of my power to my enemies. No, I swear it. And why did you remove that box from the secret vault? I heard voices. I thought strangers were coming to steal it. I shall show you what happens to those who cross me. Not a thing. Painless surgery. This and a thousand greater powers are possible with the secret element. And now the source of it is gone. But they shall not keep it. No government shall possess my power. I know where Bob Best has taken my meteor. But I can't go with you. They know me now. If I'm taken, they'll throw me back into Alcatraz. You can make yourself invisible. The Phantom will continue to protect you. Thanks, officer. The newspaper nemesis. What's in the box? Lunch for Dr. Mallory. Maybe he'll swallow that, but not me. Listen, my editor's putting the pressure on me for a story. Is that one of the late Dr. Zorka's gadgets? Look, Miss Drew, the safety of this country depends on the contents of this box. There are spies in the city paid to see Zorka's secret. Here comes Brown now. A G-man just carried a box into Mallory's house. Okay, I'll call the chief and tell him he's at the airport. You get back and watch the house. Why don't you stop telling your for sensational headlines when we tell you differently? Well, all right. On condition that I get the scoop when you're ready. Hello, Dr. Miller. Hello, Bob. Good. You found something. Something. It's dynamite. Come in. Oh, if you don't mind, Miss Drew, I would prefer that only Captain West and Lieutenant Daly come into the laboratory. Well, Miss Drew has made her peace with the government. Well, just the same. I'm afraid I'll have to exclude the press from this interview. Go on, young lady. Take a walk. Two sets of prints on this box, other than ours. Zorka probably handled it while he was alive, and the uh, others must have belonged to the fellow who got away. Jim, take these uh, down, will you? X-22-37. Wait. This is the source of Zorka's element. I'm certain of it. The neometer is reacting exactly as it did to the disc we found on Miss Drew.
Thank you, Monk. I might be able to extract Zorka's elements from this material if I had time enough and the right equipment. It took Madame Curie 14 years to isolate radium. Zorka's equipment's probably still in his lab. Why don't you work there? I'll tell you what, Mallory, I'll take you to Zorka's myself. Personal escort service. What's that? Well, either this place is haunted or I am. All right, Jim, you take Dr. Mallory to Zorka's. I'll follow along as soon as I talk to the office. Well, you better make your call from outside. His wires have been tapped. Come on, Doc. Right. Drive to the laboratory. Mallory is playing directly into my hands. just left from Zorka's house. They've got the box with them. Okay, we'll head for our airport. The chief has a plane ready for our getaway. Long distance? This is Captain West, DMI, calling the War Department in Washington, D.C. Reverse the charges. Very urgent. You know, I don't feel any too comfortable with that thing so close. Nothing can happen as long as the meteorite is not exposed. Still trailing us. Get off the road and out of sight when we round that curve ahead. All clear. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's somebody in the back. Right, come on, buddy, climb up. Oh, please, no. Wait a Oh, you're a lot of help. Just a hitchhiker, Doctor. Can I go along with you? See if it's Scott. Go on, bait it. Look. That car is coming back. Whoever's in that car knows we've got the meteorite. All right, get in. Stay down. Getting fast harder, huh? Put the wisecrack and there's trouble coming. gunfire while we're carrying that box. Keep your hands where they are. Push the guy at the wheel. Who's in the box? All right, come on, get out, you. That's what we're after. Be careful. If you drop that, we'll be blown to bits. Don't take the lid off while I'm around, either. Put that in our car. Handle it carefully. All right, start driving. And don't forget we're behind you, so don't get funny. I can't. I've lost the keys. All right, wise guy. Pile out, all of you. We'll take you in our car. Come on, get moving. I'm 
something has gone wrong. They should be here by now. Would you care if they had an accident? Idiot. With those fools handling it, the meteorite is liable to explode and I shall lose it. I shall wait no longer. This Niamata will lead me to my meteorite. Come. Yeah. 